So as the season winds down, we are beginning to hear speculations for the preparation for the summer recruitment uh, that will be happening at Arsenal, uh, which is which is proactive. And I like that uh, Teta Edu at the Crown case are actually putting motion in place to bring in top quality players to supplement and to add more depth, add more firepower to the team. Now, according to uh, Sam McBell, there's understanding at Arsenal that their weight bill will inflate definitely when you bring in more quality players, higher transfer fee and higher uh, wages. Uh, we inflate over the summer as a Mikel Arteta targets player with more physicality and made concerns his team lack strength and power during the crucial moments of the season. Declan Wright fits the, fits the profile of the player Arteta wants to add to his squad. And I like that. This rumor about Declan Rice has been swelling since last, as it's in general transfer window. And we know West Ham were not willing to sell him during the general transfer window, but it's becoming very clear uh, and it's becoming very obvious that he will leave West Ham at the end of the season. Uh, according to reports, he has agreed uh, uh, personal, uh, I think, wages with Arsenal, uh, but the transfer fee might be a stumbling block because we know West Ham are asking for in excess of. Well, it won down 20 million pounds, which is ridiculous, in my opinion. But we know English tax, we know how the English like to overhype their players in terms of playing ability and the monetary value placed on this player. So it's going to be tough. It's not out of the reach of Arsenal since we are hearing rumors that the Crown case are actually willing to back the team financially at this time. They know we need to add quality, and quality comes with being pricey. I get it. Even I've made videos about as I pay 120 million pounds for Declan Rice, but if you look at Declan Rice, he fits perfectly into the Arteta system and the Arsenal system. We might not pay 120 million pounds, but we can negotiate maybe a 90 and train a player here or there, or we can actually uh, find a way and Declan Rice can insist on coming to Arsenal and we might actually pay lower than 120. But I, I, I expect Arsenal to pay at least 100 million pounds. If you want to get a Declan Rice, and that will be uh, as not breaking and shattering their transfer record. So, looking interesting. Based on that on that tweet, we need physicality in that midfield. If you watch the Man City game, home and away. If you watch the West Ham games and uh, some of the other games we've lost this season, we have been second best in terms of physicality. I know we have uh, a number of technical players, but if when you lose the physical battles. It affects your ability to impose your technical ability on the game. The time we we're winning titles, we had midfield like Edu was tall and physical. We had Vieira, Petit, uh, Gilberto Silva. These are players who were very physical and technical. Now, Odegaard does, he's not the best physically, but he has a technical ability. But we need to bring in two other midfielders to add that physical ability to the team. Now, Soliba is physical, even though we can tell he hasn't reached his physical peak quality 21. Grima Magales, I think he can do more. It's, it's quite physical, but compared to, if you compare him to Robin Diaz of Manchester United, sorry, of Manchester City, he is not as physical as that. He These boys need to hit the gym. They need to supplement their meals. They need to train themselves. We need to add physicality to the technical ability that we have. We can't continue to allow ourselves to be bullied or be inferior to teams that are physical. Just, remember, just just look back to the, the loss at the ATR. We're bullied physically. Brentford at home, the draw. We're bullied physically. We need to stop that. It's high time we add some physical players to the team. Regardless of technical ability, you need, the English Premier League is very physical. We need those physical specimens in our team. And I'm hoping the Crown case and Nateta can bring the deals to fruition, the deals for Declan Rice and Kaisido. If you bring those two players into our midfield, that will boost our midfield with physicality, athleticism, uh, dynamism. That, that will raise us to another level. These are players that, in terms of ability, they are there. In terms of availability, they are there. So we need to make sure we don't know that Jaka is going to leave. If Jaka leaves and we have a Kaisido and we have a, a Declan Rice, that is fantastic. We keep Pate to, to be coming off the bench. Uh, I'm not totally convinced Pate is totally done. 
Yes, he has some of the cleaves in the last few games physical, physically and technically. I don't know what is happening there. Let's see how he'll react to preseason. So we still have Jorginho. He might not be the most physical, but if you pair him up with another physical player like a Declan Rice or Caicedo, we can hold down in the midfield. So we need to make sure we balance the physicality and the technical ability, ability, the technical ability of the team. We can't have too many technical ability players, but no physical specimen to balance it up. Because just go back, like I said, and watch the games we lost. You could see that 70 to 80% of those games were physically bullied. And so we couldn't impose our game onto those teams. The Everton game too at, at Good Simple Park. So we need to have a balance of physicality and technical ability into the team. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. Do you think a Declan Rice and a Kaiso will sort out our physical deficiencies in the team? Let me know. Or do you think we should go to South America or Africa, other leagues to find cheaper players? I think this is high time we stop in a pinching. I understand we shouldn't buy players for inflated prices, but sometimes, right, you just need to bite, bite the bullet sometimes for the greater cause. Like Kaisido and Declan Rice, these are experienced young players. Kaisido, 20, I think it's 22, Declan is 24. If you pick them up, you have them for the next 10 years and we'll be able to compete by no injuries. We can compete at the highest level physically and technically in the Premiership and the Champions League. Let's not forget, we'll be playing the Champions League and the Premiership. So you need players who will be available. You need players who are still young, who are still agile, who are very athletic. And these two players fit the bill. If you like my content I'm watching for the first time, do not forget to stick a like on the video. Very, very important. Make sure uh, you subscribe, you enjoy the content, and do not forget to turn your notification bells on. Very, very important too. For the growth of the channel and the algorithm, I can get notified when I post these videos or I try to go on a live stream. Very, very important. And I'll see you guys in the next one.